What's poppin' everybody and welcome to another episode of the Measy Show. I'm your host with the most. Now, before we begin, please, before we begin, hit that subscribe and that like button for me. Let me know that you are a true citizen, a real trooper, a real supporter of this channel. In addition, if you can hit the post notification bell, that way anytime I drop something new, you'll be one of the first ones to see it. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this, right? Uh, you guys seen the title, you seen the thumbnail, right? So, uh... Banging in Little Rock. For those that don't know, uh, I want to say it was in like the 90, early 90s or maybe late 80s. Uh, a documentary was released called Banging in Little Rock, okay? So what this documentary was about, uh, for those that have not seen it, was uh, uh, basically the influ in influx of Bloods and Crips in Arkansas. Arkansas. Uh, Little Rock, Arkansas, Okay. Now, they have gangs in Pine Bluff and other cities as well, but Little Rock was probably the first place that it went. So, uh, this has not only been documented like a nap, but it's also been, you know, documented in movies and things like that. I'm not sure if anybody's watched the, the it's series that was on Hulu, I think, or it was on Hulu. It was called uh, Snowfall. Hella hard. Hella hard. Franklin Saint, all that. Anyway. <clears throat> if you ain't seen that, check that out, by the way. That's a great show. So anyway, so uh, they actually went to Arkansas in that, in that, uh, you know, in that, in that series. Um, while the series was kind of like fake, but it was based on true events, that was probably one of the true events because they went and brought dope to Arkansas. They went and brought gangs, and then they got things popping. So this is, uh, for those that haven't seen it, basically, uh, you have like a lot of like um, white Crips and uh, most of the Bloods was black, but the Crips is white, right? Um, and then they basically are pushing their the line on what they got uh, on their, you know. So obviously then they had the guy that came through, I forget his name, but he came from California and he went to, um, you know, Arkansas, brought some dope, was selling some dope, you know what I'm saying, brought the gang thing, was putting people on, next thing you know, it's hella bloods and crips, well, hella crips, and then bloods, and, you know, it just went from there, right? Um, now, there's going to be a lot of people that say, especially people like in California, Southern California, they'd be like, oh, well, I don't know, they got all these white crips, and I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Um, I can just say, I've been around a lot of different states before. I'm from Washington, but I've been exposed to different states and stuff like that. Um, I, I've seen gang members of all shades. Bloods, Crips, uh, GDs, uh, all, all that. I've seen them of all different shades. So, like, in Southern California, politics gang politics dominate everything. You know what I'm saying? Um, and gang politics kind of are dominated by race politics in the judicial system, right? And like other states, like let's say Washington, it's not as much like that. It is kind of, but let's say, for example, if a white Damu came to a unit and let's just say like Walla Walla, right? Or a white Crip came, he might run a fade or something and then mess it. That's it. Yeah, there's no, that's it. You know what I'm saying? In a rare occurrence, there would be a riot or something that he came and he wanted to push his hood or whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I I just feel like uh, I feel like California is more so like a racial state, especially Southern California. It's more of a racial state as opposed to um, you know like other states. You know, uh, yeah. So anyway, so I'm banging in Little Rock. Uh, a lot of people say, and I, so Game has said this, the rapper The Game, and I watched this interview, and when I seen that, I couldn't agree more. He was like, people saying what they can and can't do in this place or that place, but you seen Bang and Bang, Lil Rock, they killing, they laying, you know, saying stuff down. So who are you or anybody else to say that they can't do when they're doing it? You get what I'm saying? Uh, now there's going to be a lot of people, especially like Southern California, being that Bloods and Crips did come from Southern California, Right? There's going to be a lot of people that say, hey, uh, you know, they off brand. They 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 not pushing it right. They did. Yeah. They may not be pushing it right. I don't really know, you know, but I know I know I've seen people from other states be on some weird stuff. Uh, I got a homie from Tacoma, Washington. Right. 
uh, this is my Muslim brother, but he grew up on the hilltop, so he's from Hilltop Crip, right? And so, um, he said he went to, uh, a place called, uh, I forget the name of the city, Cincinnati, or someplace in Ohio, it, I don't remember the city, but he went to some place in Ohio with this chick or something, anyway, he said when he went out there, they had some Crips, he said called the Metro Crips, right? He was like, that gripping was hella weird. Like, it was just different. And I and I can say I've seen some different things. Like, uh, I met a dude from Indiana. And it was a white dude, too. Right? Um, and he said he was, I think I want to say Gary. And I never thought they had Bloods and Crips in Gary, Indiana. Right? I thought it was just GDs and Vice Lords. But he was a, said he was a Crip from some gang. I forget the name of it. And he said that they were blue rag out of their right pocket i don't know obviously being on the west coast i know that that's not the way that it was originated but that's what they did you get what i'm saying um i met another dude he was from uh i want to say indian i mean not indian i'm I apologize uh, 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 uh ohio and he had a six point star on his hand and i was like Oh, you Jewish? I thought you was black or something. He was like, oh, no, nah, no, nah, I'm a Crip. That's a Crip star. I said, it's a Crip star, huh? Never, never in my life have I ever seen a Crip wear a six-point star until then. But that's what he was doing. So do it get a little bit watered down? Yeah, probably so. They do things that are a little different. I mean, anytime something travels, it's going to change a little bit. You get what I'm saying? Um. Uh, Look at, let's just say, for example, like, uh, look at Bloods in Southern California, right? They have their handshakes and this and that. Then, look at Bloods, like, in the South. They got a whole different thing, and they're being the five and all this, and they do it, they push it a little different. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They push it, their handshakes are different. They're just, they're, ling they're just a little bit more different. You Never have you heard, uh, uh, you know, in... in Southern California, I never heard of blood called another blood slime, but that's something that they do in the South. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, do it change a little bit when it goes to different borders and states and stuff? Yeah, for sure it does. Um, but at the end of the day, they doing what they laying, they laying stuff down over there in Little Rock. Uh, and a lot of people that think like, you know, Little Rock is just like a weak little town, little country. No, trust me. I never been there, but I have no met people from there. I've talked to people from there. I've looked at it, bro. People are getting laid down. They're getting measured. Okay, Pine Bluff, Little Rock, and a couple of little surrounding cities. It's all bad. It's the poverty. The everything is bad. It's not a nice place. If the abandoned houses. That's that's why the houses are like fifteen G's. You get a house. This is kind of tore back for like fifteen thousand. No problem. You know what I'm saying? You probably go there. It's a bando. They're trapping out of it. But the point is, is that it's not a nice place. And it hasn't been for a long time. It was a country place before the gangs took over. But that's just what it was, you know. Uh, so, yeah. So, for me to... Well, I've seen that before. But for me to watch that just right now, it kind of just further... Uh, it kind of just further let me believe, like, you can do what you want. What you're going to do, where you're going to do it. Now, it may not be the way it was intended to be. And maybe some people don't recognize you. But then day, I'm sure that there's a lot of people that do. Uh, they're probably not that concerned. So, like, let's just say, for example, like, Bloods in New York. They probably don't care what uh, West Coast Bloods think about them. You know what I'm saying? They, they probably, you so far away, like, what are you, you know? And I can understand why the West Coast Bloods may feel like, well, who are you, bro? You better, you know what I'm saying? You better, you know, like, reach out to us, tap in with us, you know, like, you are a, you are an extension of us. So I can see how they would feel that way, too. But I'm not a gang expert or nothing like that, you know. Uh, that's not what I'm claiming. To be. I'm just saying, I just watch this, I'm reacting to it. So, uh, yeah, man, I, I, I just feel like, if it could be done there, it could be done anywhere. You know what I'm saying? I, I remember, I know this guy named, I was talking to this guy named Gutter that I know, right? And Gutter was saying like, oh yeah, 
Oh, he was a he was an off brand. I said, why was he? He talking about somebody. He said, I said, why was he off brand? He said, oh, cause he was a um, because he was a um, a, a, I, want to, I forget what this blood crip, whatever. He was a blood or crip or something like that from a different state. I'm like, so why is why is he an off brand? Why is that? Like, why why does that make him an off brand? He like, oh, you know, all that originated California. If you pushing that somewhere else, you. So I'm like. I understand it originated in California. I mean, tacos originated in Mexico. You eat tacos, right? You dig what I'm saying? Like, pho originated in Vietnam. You eating that, right? Uh, pants originated on a whole other continent. We wearing those, right? You get what I'm saying? So, I don't necessarily feel like somebody that's not from the heart of where it started is an off-brand. I feel like maybe they not maybe recognized by other you get what i'm saying but i mean like i said I, I don't think they really too much care of what the rest of them think now there are some people right there are some people that i just feel like are just full of crap like and i don't want to name any names but there's some podcasters that are claimed to be gang members that are not gang members and they, they've it's clear that they're not gang members but then they report on gang stuff as if that's them and then they go as far as to get different stuff tattooed on them. And it, it's like, bro, like, if that's not you, that's not you. You get what I'm saying? But anyway, not to get sidetracked. I just feel like if it could be done there, it could be done anywhere. You feel me? So check it out, man. Banging in Little Rock. It's overall, I would say it's a great documentary. Um. They they turned out the white kid, the little white kids out there. Yeah, cuz, hey, my flank, cuz. For some reason, all the bloods was black, though. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I don't know why, but then all, like, half the Crips was white, half of them was black, but all the bloods was black. You know, it's crazy, too, cuz I'm from Seattle, right? So, in Seattle, gangs don't rule everything, but they have bloods and Crips. The bloods usually tend to be light skinned or different yeah, I'll tell you why though and the Crips are dark skinned I don't know why actually I do know why I'm going to tell you so okay so most of the Crips is from the south end right most of the Bloods is from the north end and maybe a little bit west Seattle and the city right but a lot of the different races of people and other races are in the north end there's everybody in the north end the south end is more like predominant black not necessarily predominant black but it's a lot more black people in the south end in the north end it's a lot of black people too but it's a lot of everybody you get what i'm saying so a lot it seemed like the bloods be like always light skin up north and well because that's where the bloods are from and some of them from the valley like uh, central district and all that but and the bloods the, excuse me the crips they'd be all dark skin i swear to god i don't know why that's i mean maybe somebody has seen it a little different from me that's what i've witness myself you know what i'm saying so but yeah and banging a little rock all the half the crips was white and black and all the bloods are black i don't know maybe it's the opposite down south but um uh, anyway man you let me know what you think i'm gonna put the um the link to the video in the description man you guys check it out it's called banging in little rock it's an old ass video they got the cop running around with the with the hey, have, do you know this guy you guys gotta put the guns down blah 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 then mind you back then there was only 177,000 people in Little Rock, Arkansas, and people are dying daily. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, I don't want to take too much of your time. I'm going to get to it. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have not already, please hit that subscribe and that like button for me. Salute. Y'all have a great afternoon. I'm gone.